Hey everybody, once again. Um, I've been reading in forums a lot that people are having trouble finding the hosts file and editing it because of permissions and stuff. So I thought I'd just clarify exactly how you do it and how to get it work every time without having to go through properties and options and all this crap and having to change stuff that might mess up your computer. So what you want to do is go to my computer, start menu my computer, and um, go to your C drive or whatever your main drive is. Go to uh, Windows and then System 32. So just click inside on one of the folders and type SYS and go to System 32. And then you want to go to Drivers, which is right here, and ECT. ETC, sorry, and then here's your host file, right there, here's your address to get to it, and here it is. So without having to do anything to the host file, all you want to do is click on it and hit control C, go to your desktop, control V. On a Mac, it's a, I don't even know where it is on a Mac, I don't know if there is one, but on Windows computer, which is easier, this is how you do it. So. Here it is on your desktop. Now it's on your desktop. You can do whatever you want to it, and the computer doesn't care. So double click it, and it'll ask you what you want to open it with. Open it with whatever, WordPad. You get all this crap. And then um, you see I got the Adobe activation server blocked, of course. Um, so that's it. This is how you get to it. You type in what you want here. This is for Photoshop. Put off whatever else you want here, any bad websites that you don't want to accidentally visit or have your computer connect to, whatever. So that's what you do. You control S to save it, and it won't give you any errors. It'll save it, and if you open it up again, it'll be it still will be there. So you can check that out. And then to get it back in here and replace this file, it's really easy, especially on Windows 7. You just drag it back into here where it says move to etc let go of it and it says the file already exists in the same location so you want to click on this big button right here move and replace so it replaces the file already in here with your new one so you click on that you continue and it moves it so now if you open this one wordpad there it is shouldn't have any other problems. I'm on Windows Home Premium. I just recently accidentally wiped my hard drive, so I have nothing. I just re-downloaded Camtasia. I'm downloading my Photoshop again. I had to get Firefox because IE sucks, you know. <clears throat> so that's how you get it. Working fine. So I haven't edited anything. This is just how it's supposed to work. So that's everything. Have fun blocking sites. And I'll see you guys next time on some other tutorial I'll make or video or something. If you guys want to know anything, just ask me in the private messages. PM me on YouTube. And I'll try to help you out, make you a video maybe.